I'm in the pig pen, sitting in the pig pen in the uh, sweatshirt that Sharps gave me. This is the next day. I love this thing. Um, hi guys. So uh, yeah, I wanted to just share some of the more recent rescue stories with you guys. Um, so this is just gonna be in the last month. And we've taken in one, two, three, four, five pigs uh, recently. A uh, huge thank you again to Sharps for feeding all these guys and helping to alleviate some of the out-of-pocket costs that we are experiencing associated with pig rescue. So with that being said, hi girl, what are you doing? She came from a family that um, couldn't keep her anymore. And you're gonna hear that several times over. Um, you know, pigs are, um, are unique and they don't fit every lifestyle. Small, they're easy to keep in the house, but they don't stay that small. Um, She's very cute, very friendly. You can tell they loved her, but they were moving to a place where uh, there wasn't going to be space for her. So she had to come here, right? We love her. Whoa, nice mohawk. She is one that was morbidly, morbidly obese. Um, you can see she's got like a lot of extra saggy skin right now. Um, she's a good weight at the moment and so we're probably done with our weight loss plan, but um, she had severe muscle atrophy in her back legs. Uh, we're talking like could not move for weeks, more than a couple of steps, and they were very painful steps. So you can kind of see, she'll walk around a little bit for us. You can kind of see, it's still extremely stiff. There we go. So it's slow steps. Um, she also was dealing with a ton of skin irritations and infections all on her belly because essentially um, she'd gained a lot of weight and was really confined in a small space. Uh, it was a, a little shed. And so she wasn't inclined to get up and move around at all. Um, and so this is where we're at, but you can tell, hey, don't eat, don't eat your phone or my phone. <laughs> um, however, I can't tell you how happy this makes me. She's out here, she's in the sun, she's with the other pigs. She had to spend the first few weeks um, in quarantine pen and I was having to deliver her all of her food and water. Um, I would come out a couple times a day and bribe her to stand and take a few steps. Um, I put her food a little further away, a little further away. We tried to get her to do hydrotherapy in a kid pool, but it was cold and that was not happening. <laughs> now that it's sunnier out, hopefully, because that would do wonders. Yep. Hi. She's a young pig. She's only a few years old. Um, but yeah, her, her obesity almost cost her her life. If I'm being honest, um, you know, consulting the vet, she didn't have any quality of life and we weren't sure how bad the disability was in her hind end. And how bad her, you know, eyes were um, from carrying all the extra weight rolls and all that stuff. So it's phenomenal. Look how happy she is. So her skin's clearing up a lot on her belly. Hmm. You get in there. <laughs> she's sweet too. Oh, she's friendly. She was raised as a piglet in the house. So very friendly girl. Like this one who will not be alone right now. Oh, that's the ticket. Oh. <laughs> Hi hey guys, you are not a recent rescue either. You've been with me for, holy cow, five years, maybe? I got her as an adult, drove to North Carolina to get her, right? You're not new, everybody knows you. You're not new either, you're Fran's sister. Everybody knows you too. You're the guys that were almost eaten. Okay, um, so you're gonna notice in the pig pound right now, there's about half the total pigs, and you can't tell, but that's a pig right there. And that is because, <laughs> Yeah, the pigs also have this whole space. So they're in, the ones that are in the pen right now are in here because they're hoping I'm feeding them. Otherwise, they are allowed to go all the way out here because until I get the rest of the pig pen expanded on, I wanted them to have more space. Um, and so, yeah, <laughs> they're out here. We've not had any issues with it. Uh, it's been this way for a long time now. Um, pretty much all winter, they've had access to it. There's been no predators. There's been no escapes. Um, they're out with the cows. They love the cows. They pretty much stick with them, honestly. <laughs> so, oh, there's another one. So yes, um, they're really enjoying having, oh, and there's two over there sleeping. I didn't even notice them behind the tree. So these pigs have about 10 acres right now. <laughs> that would be my dream. Oh my gosh, to have this all 
fenced well enough uh, for pigs long term. Look at his habit. You guys can't tell. Oh my God, I want to sneak up on him so bad. He's got his back legs kicked out. His tail's just wagging. <laughs> um, that would be my dream to be able to set aside that many acres that is fenced well enough for pigs. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't you be happy to? Oh, my funny girl. Funny girl with the funny mohawk. It's okay. It's okay. Say thanks for all the CBD stuff. That's gonna help me. You're using Fran as a pillow? Mm hmm. I don't know if Fran likes that. Fran, Fran. Are you a pillow girl? You're so sweet. You mama smart girl. Smartest pig. Don't tell the other ones, but this is the smartest pig I've ever had. Here's another one. He's a big boy. He's a good boy, though. Aww. So gentle. Oh, I love that boy. Uh, yeah, I used to take a lot of feral pigs. We would show up. We would spend hours, potentially, chasing these pigs. Because it was the kind of thing where it was like, if you can catch them, you can take them. If you can't, we're going to shoot them. Very literally. Uh, so I still have some of those pigs um, that are still feral to this day. But now I'm getting a lot of people that got pigs as pets, raised them in the house. These are friendly, social, amazing pigs that they couldn't keep anymore. And so now they're here. And one thing that's great about it, um, obviously, is that it makes it easier to medicate them, interact with them, make cute videos for you guys with them. It also means they're eligible, theoretically, to be adopted out. And that's something I would really like to be able to do in the future is more um, pig placement. But, hello, that is the wrong way. <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, this boy. You've been here for a long, long time. You're an old girl, huh? I'm old. I'm probably 10, 9. Oops, I'm actually really far away. Sorry for the quality, but uh, that is kind of one of the feral ones. So, if I get too close, it's going to run. But, uh, he's a happy guy. Happy dude. Uh, he was from a breeder who thought they were going to make a fortune breeding pigs and ended up with a bunch of teenage pigs that they couldn't find homes for and it was yeah get them or I'm getting rid of them so they're here so is this one and actually two more that are out here right now this one and one over here there he is we'll wait now hmm, we're talking about you it's okay it's okay. Well, since we're at it, that one and that one were both rescues. Recent rescues, I should say. What are you guys doing? See how quickly they all love me when I start throwing treats. Huh, huh, girl? Mm-hmm. And then my camera died. This is the next day, but, uh, Basically, I wanted to make this video, number one, to just sort of update you guys on the wow. pig situation here, uh, but also on the pig situation on a bigger scale. Uh, right now, I have a group of 10 pigs that someone is trying to get rid of. Um, I have two sets of two pigs that people are trying to rehome here. And then I have two sets of single pigs. I would actually say the majority of them are under a year old. The group of 10 was uh, someone who wanted to get into breeding pigs had their first litter realized that baby piglets are not like puppies and they're not born nice and they're a lot of work to make them pet suitable uh, and then the other ones were people that got pet pigs and in less than a year recognized they weren't a good fit so hopefully the videos I've made um, have helped some people possibly make the decision to not get a pig at all. And then for everybody else, you know, help them become better pig owners or prepare them for pig ownership. Clearly I love them, but I don't know that they're necessarily good pets for the majority of people. The reason that I've been fortunate enough to be in this position and to be able to help the pigs that I have so far and hopefully to continue expanding, continuing helping them, um, and become a source, yeah, where people can reach out to me and know that, you know, if I can, I will take them in. And if I can't, I will at least try to network and find places that can, people that are interested. But yeah, it's definitely thanks to, to everybody's donations that we're even able to consider expanding and helping more pigs. And also thanks to Sharps 
Pagan Pet for uh, giving me all of that food <laughs> that is going to feed these guys. That's where we're at right now. Uh, the pigs are always going to be a huge part of the sanctuary's efforts. Uh, one of the things that I focus on because, yeah, <laughs> my entire life they've been something I've just loved. Uh, so even though, yeah, I know we're branching out a lot and you guys are getting a lot of content about the other animals and a lot of you came here because of the pigs, know that they're, they're still one of my main focuses and priorities. I will keep you updated as we progress on the pig pen expansion also. If you would like to be kept involved in some of the rescues in the future, let me know and just be sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you know when these things happen. Look at this lineup of chickens watching me, waiting. Are you gonna feed us? Are you gonna feed us?